Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, Linda. Yes, indeed. We have made it. Hope everyone has had a, a good morning up until this point. Um, I do feel that uh, there's at least three more cups of coffee in my future, but that's okay. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. All righty. We're doing morning prayer, of course, and um, it begins on page 77. Uh, our psalm for today, I, I think I listed it there, but our psalm for today is Psalm 67. Um, it's on page 675. And uh, we have just, just a fun saint today. Um, it is Saint Isidore the Farmer. And hey, we'll talk a little bit more about him when we get there, but uh, we'll start off with our morning prayer. Um, Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Let's say together today the Vanity on page um, 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Psalm 67, page 675. 67, page 675. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth our increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson comes from the Acts of the Apostles chapter 12, verse 24, through chapter 13, verse 5a. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they sent them forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salome, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Today I'd like to do, because it is um, Isidore the farmer, um, I'd like to do uh, the canticle, which is um, the song of creation. And it's not always necessary um, to do all of the song of creation as your canticle. It's on page 88. And when you do this one, you can say it all, or you can say parts of it. And so today I'd like to do the invocation and then we skip over to the next page and we do part two, which is the earth and its creatures. And then we turn over to page 90 and we conclude with the doxology. So the invocation, part two, and the doxology. And we'll say that together. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds, O men and women everywhere. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. And then we move over to our gospel. Um, our gospel today is from John, chapter 12, verses 44 through 50. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I do not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, as I said, um, we, have a, we have a fun saint for Friday. It's saint Isidore the farmer. Um, he uh, is the patron saint of Madrid, Madrid, Spain, and the patron saint of the United States National Rural Life Conference. Um, he's a remarkable uh, saint. It's so often when we begin to think about our saints, we think, well, this person has to be um, a great theologian or a great mystic, great spiritual person, um, teach so many different things. Um, Isidore, he liked to go to church. And that's really what it was all about. Isidore worshipped God. He worshipped God in everything that he did. Um, he lived in Spain. Um, he worked for, uh, he, he was more or less, um, I don't know that he was a, a slave, but he was one who worked for another guy. He worked for the, the big guy. Um, and he worked in the man's uh, fields, plowing his gardens and so forth. And um, there were others who worked there with him. Their biggest complaint against Isidore was the fact that he was oftentimes late for work because he spent so much time in church. Um, there were many uh, various uh, uh, legends that came up around him. Uh, the one, though, that you will see most often depicted in the icons and other um, art is the time when uh, Varga or Vargas, um, his master Vargas, Jean de Vargas, was watching him um, as he was plowing in the garden. And um, he saw out beside Isidore um, uh, 
two oxen that were strapped to a plow that were perfectly white and apparently they were being led by angels and Vargas apparently turned away and turned back and they were no longer there and um, Vargas uh, called Isidore and Isidore said there was nobody out there with me I was simply uh, working and praising God at the time and so the art and the iconography that's come out around him shows him um, always out in the field uh, with angels and perhaps with white oxen or different types of oxen uh, being led by angels, which is sort of fun. I think it's very, uh, I think it's great that we have saints like this because I think sometimes we get to thinking that, you know, I could never be a saint. I don't, I don't really do all that much. You know, I'm not, I'm not a great I'm not a great thinker, I'm not a great theologian, I'm not a great prayer. Um, but Isidore shows us that really all you need to be a saint is to be faithful, faithful to God and to, um, to stay with him and to allow him to stay with you throughout the day. I did some looking into St. Jose Maria Escriva because I thought Escriva might have a lot to say to us about Isidore, but there was nothing that I found this morning. I, I meant to look earlier in the day, but... Um, um, failed to do that. But as far as I could tell from a quick search through his writings, since is, um, Escriva is so big on the works and, and, and the working of the people, uh, but there wasn't anything that I could find there, but I plan on doing a bit more research there. Um, Isidore was, um, I wanted to find out because he was a declared a saint in 1622. And you would think, well, he probably, maybe they didn't have anything else to do on that day when they declared him a saint. Uh, but he is part of what's considered Spain's five saints because on that exact same day when he was declared a saint there were several others um, who were declared saints. Names that you might know. Um, someone like um, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, Francis Xavier, Teresa of Avila, and Philip Neri. And our friend today, Isidore the Farmer, were all declared saints on the same day. Isidore the Farmer. Think of him as your, your saint for the, the common man, as he's sometimes referred to. Um, he's a saint of farmers and of great outdoors and laborers. They're mowing my yard today, so it's a bit noisy. I apologize for that. And it might get a little bit noisier here in just a minute. We continue with the Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll say suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Lord God, 
to whom belongs all creation and who calls us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us. Inspire us by the example of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And we'll say together the collect that's at the top of page 101. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that every one might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. This time I invite your own prayers and intercessions. And I don't know if uh, David Smith is out there. David, if you're out there, good morning. Um, he sent out a notification on some of his treatments, so I'd ask you to keep him in your prayers. Um, they decided, uh, the docs decided that um, a couple of the bumps on his head were melanoma, so he's going to have to have a bit more aggressive treatment. And so he's going to be getting some additional um, type of chemo and also... I believe, uh, and he has to start some radiation treatment on his scalp. So I ask you to continue to keep David in your prayers um, and any others in our community that, um, that you know of um, who need special love and care these days. Pray for, pray for Kathy and the family as well. Together, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Well, it is Friday, and we're going to try something new today. Uh, this evening at 5.30, we're going to do Holy Happy Hour via Zoom conference. And you should have received an email from me with a, a link and a password in order to get into all of that. So join us this evening at 5.30. We're going to try and do our morning prayer service, or not morning prayer, an evening prayer service, everything that we'd normally do. Um, except it'll all be from the privacy of our own home 
um, and we won't have to wear a mask. If you didn't receive the email and you would like to know how to get to that Zoom conference, um, please just shoot me a note and uh, send it through Messenger or something like that on Facebook and I will uh, resend the information out to you. If you haven't signed up for the emails, you can go to the church website, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and there's a little place down there where it says sign up and you can sign up and you'll be getting all the notifications on the different things that we are doing. The website is www.stmatthewsenid.org. Happy Friday, y'all. I hope you have a great day. Um, we will be back here uh, tomorrow. It will be a recorded service. I will send out a link on that uh, through that same email service. You'll get that, and I'll send it out to you, and I'll probably make it available by about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.